Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about lazy column in Jetpack Compose. So let's get started. Let us know first what is a lazy column. A lazy column is a vertically scrolling list that only composes and lays out the currently visible items. It's similar to recycled view in the classic Android view system. If you need to display a large number of items or a list of an unknown length using a column can cause performance issue since all the items will be composed and laid out whether or not they are visible. In this situation, lazy column will be useful. Let's see how we can use a lazy column. Just use lazy column composable. The DSL of Lazy List scope provides a number of functions for describing items in the layout. If you want to describe a single item, then you can do this this way. Use the item and inside this you can use any composable. Let's say we want to use just a simple text. So here is our single item. If you want to use multiple item from a number, suppose 10, 100, whatever, then you can use this one. Suppose I want 10 items. Here you can use any composable for every item. Suppose I want text for every item here you can get the item by means of it this will be your item and item is here just a number so i will just convert it to st string Here I have just printed these numbers but you can use this number to access a specific item from array or list. If you have list or array and you want to map to it composables then you can use this one. So for that I will use just a list. I will put this list here the particular item will be obtained by IT here So you can see our list is mapped to composables. If you want to add padding around the edges of the content, the lazy components allow you to pass some padding values. Let's see. You have to use content padding and the values will be coming from padding values. Suppose I want 24 dp in each side. See, if you want padding only in horizontal sides, just mention horizontal and mention your value. To 
add spacing in between items, you can use arrangement dot spaced by. Let's see. You have to use the vertical arrangement property and arrangement dot spaced by. Suppose I want 12 dp space in between. If you want to horizontally align all the items inside the column, then in you can use horizontal alignment. Suppose I want center horizontally. Let's see. So you can see each and every item right now in center. You can reverse the layout this way. See. So guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.